Donald Trump is furious over this very specific moment in President Obama's DNC speech the other day, and this is according to some brand new reporting. Now, of course, both Barack Obama and Michelle Obama's speeches were fantastic. They really hammered Donald Trump, and they talked about the amazing accomplishments of Vice President Kamala Harris, but it's just this very particular moment that Donald Trump hasn't been able to shake even up until now, like four or five five days after President Obama Obama delivered the speech. So I'm going to play this moment from the speech and we'll talk about the brand new reporting, but it's just so funny. So take a look. Here's a 78 year old billionaire who has not stopped whining about his problems since he rode down his golden escalator nine years ago. It has been a constant stream of, of gripes and grievances. That, that's actually been getting worse now that he's afraid of losing to Kamala. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. It, it. Yeah, I mean, look, I was at the DNC. I witnessed this speech live in Chicago and watching it back, it is still as funny and entertaining as the first time I saw it. President Obama's point here is fantastic that Donald Trump only cares about himself. It's been a constant stream of whining and grievances ever since he came down that golden escalator, and he's only gotten worse as of late as the prospects of him losing the election increase. But it's that last comment at the end there that he he's really concerned about crowd sizes has really just bothered Donald Trump. The moment went extremely viral on social media as soon as he said it. Millions, hundreds of millions of views on this specific moment. And of course, we know what you know President Obama is joking about there. He's not really talking about crowd sizes. And that has really, really gotten under Trump's skin, really hurt his ego, which God forbid, Donald Trump's ego takes a little bit of a, a hit because then, of course, he goes on this rampage on True Social, which did inevitably follow after this speech. But as I mentioned, it's just that last joke there that has really bothered Donald Trump. And we have some brand new reporting from Maggie Haberman, New York Times reporter, CNN contributor, someone who has followed Donald Trump uh, and reported on him for a very long time now. She has a lot of insider sources on it. She spoke about this moment in particular on CNN today. And her reporting is pretty fascinating. And it kind of shows that Donald Trump is still, still thinking about Obama's speech. So take a look. I thought it was interesting that when uh, President Obama took the stage at the Democratic Convention, he made a comment about Trump's obsession with crowds, with his crowd sizes. I want to play that clip. Listen to this. There's the childish nicknames, the crazy conspiracy theories, this weird obsession with crowd sizes. How has that moment landed with the former president? So it, it, both of the Obama's speeches got under his skin. He is very reactive to both of them. We have seen that since 2011 when Trump spread the lie that uh, President Obama was not uh, was was possibly born in Kenya and therefore illegitimate to be president. Uh, I think you're going to see more of this. What I was struck by, Wolf, in this convention is there was a pretty focused message about Trump, and we heard it over and over again from the Obamas from uh, the vice president, from others, that you know he is a he is a rich guy who cares about his rich friends. Uh, but what you also saw were were comments that I think were designed to bait Trump. That was one of them. Uh, the more that Trump reacts self-destructively, the better Democrats feel it is for them. Important point, uh, Maggie Haberman. Thank you very much for your excellent analysis. Yeah, Donald Trump not happy. <laughs> he is not happy. Right now, as we speak, he is the toddler in the middle of the grocery store having a temper tantrum on aisle five. He's kicking his feet. He's screaming, no, it's not true. That's who Donald Trump is. That's who he continues to be. Now, I think there's a couple of reasons that this comment in particular really got under Donald Trump's skin. And of course, the Obama speech is getting under Donald Trump's skin because as we talked about, he's an egomaniac. I mean, he's egotistical, he's weird, he's a freak. And when anybody damages his ego just a little bit, especially with a joke like this that went immediately viral, he hates it. 
He despises it. At a rally recently, he said, I hate being laughed at. And in that moment in time, the entire internet was laughing at him and laughing with the Obamas. But I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Because of course, when anybody attacks Donald Trump, he's very upset. But this wasn't just anybody. This was President Barack Obama, who he has hated for many years. You know, and there's a variety of reasons as to why he claims to hate Obama, but my re- my view on the matter, and I think the real reason why he hates Obama, is that President Obama is everything he wishes he could be. Obama, two-term president, Harvard-educated lawyer, happy family, zero indictments, a Nobel Peace Prize among a huge list of accomplishments both as president and before and even up till now in post-presidency with his foundation, with charity, with writing best-selling books, all of those things. Donald Trump is none of that. He doesn't have a happy family. Matter of fact, it's been reported that many members of his family despise him. He is a felon. He is a proven sexual abuser. He is a one-term president after getting voted out and the guy who beat him was Obama's vice president. Trump wishes that he could be Obama. And so when Obama is up there making fun of him, delivering this amazing speech, he's loved widely across the United States, coast to coast, among different parties, different views, people love Obama. And Donald Trump doesn't have that same approval rating. People despise Donald Trump. It gets under his skin. It really bothers him. And so no wonder, no wonder We're seeing him rage at his rallies or freak out on Truth Social as he does so often. Because not only is this moment just laughing at him, but it's Obama who is delivering the moment. And the last thing I'll say about all this and this specific moment is that it is truly, truly the last thing that Donald Trump needed right now. His campaign is spiraling. The operation is unfolding. The money is drying up. The volunteers aren't where they need to be. He has virtually no field offices in many of these swing states. And the last thing that him and his campaign needed was a star in the Democratic Party who's charismatic and loved across the land, creating a viral moment and just taking out his knees. I mean, the, the campaign, the, the Trump campaign's on the ground. He's already down. And the, and the Obamas just came in and bam. A little bit further. That's the nation. That's nature of politics. It has to be the nature of politics. You got to go full speed ahead all the way to election day. But it's just the last thing that Donald Trump needed. And as I mentioned, it's the last thing that Trump needed, especially from someone like Obama, someone that he wishes he could be. So uh, it's really funny that Donald Trump is very upset over this moment. Not only did Obama destroy him on policy, but he also insulted him in a very classy way. Um, And I I loved it. I think everybody else did too. And certainly, certainly it's reverberating in the Trump camp. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this new reporting, this new clip uh, from CNN and Maggie Haberman. I think it's fascinating and I'm loving it. (laughs) I'm loving watching Donald Trump's uh, temper tantrum, his meltdown. So I will leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe down below. It goes an incredibly long way. Also drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all this. And as I always say, I greatly appreciate you and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day.